Well, I mean, that's a long story. But in, in, in short, um, yes, I think, you know, all of the above is true. Uh, I, I've, I've looked at this in detail in the in the new book. Um, and, you know, I've talked to a lot of people with Morgellons. First of all, it started to mm -hmm. appear when chemtrails started to appear and people began to notice them. And what is uh, happening is that um, uh, people are finding um, basically forms of technology and human sub made substances and substances that, that, that you know, certainly not made in the public arena uh, by humans um, um, in their bodies. And um, they can pull them out like strands of, 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 um, of tubes and hollow tubes and what have you. They can pull them out of the body, but um, they go on replicating. And when you um, look at, um, as I have in the book, the, um, the descriptions of the world that's coming from uh, people like Ray Kurzweil, then he's basically describing that. Um, the, uh, uh, he's talking about um, intelligent AI um, in the form of um, uh, intelligent technology of the kind we're talking about and there's even a name for it now they call it smart dust because of course everything today is smart because everything uh, smart it connects to everything else uh, called smart that that's what it is it's the creation of a smart grid with all these different expressions of it um, communicating with each other to create this uh, this grid and smart dust is also what is called nanotechnology. It's so small, the human eye can't even begin to see it. Mm. Um, and, and this is clearly what, it, when you look at the evidence, um, is what is coming uh, out in, um, down in chemtrails. Um, and uh, it's affecting not only the, the human body, it's affecting the environment. Now, I'm going to give you a quote here from Ray Kurzweil. Um, who said nanobots will infuse all the matter around us with information rocks trees everything will become these intelligent creatures what he's saying is that what they're going to do is infuse AI technology into the entirety of the environment well mm. how the hell are you gonna do that except by dropping it from the sky and that's that's what uh, is the chemtrails are not only about that, but they're absolutely um, what um, uh, a fundamental part of what chemtrails are about, among many other things. Um, and I have heard it said. I'm not saying it's true. I've heard, I've heard it uh, said that what we call Magellan sufferers are people um, whose bodies are rejecting it. And as the body rejects it, they're, they're having physical symptoms and there's, the stuff is, is coming out because the human immune system is trying to eject it. And so, you know, people have these great sores on the skin and everything. Whereas yeah. o others, it is suggested, are assimilating it. Because you see, the, the end game is uh, not only to connect the human mind to AI, but to create a completely different human being, to create a synthetic human being. This is why now they are talking publicly about the development of a synthetic genome. And I would say this, this is so important. Whatever you see in the public arena in terms of technological development is light years behind what's happening in the shadow.